like that. Yeah, I think I would kinda wanna do that. Let's see if I can just do one of these. Or you could do like, if Kristen really wanted, I can do like a flip one. No. Cuz you can move up there to cover the line as well. Yeah. Yeah. guys. God bless you. We're here for little Vasilios' entrance into the kingdom of heaven, and uh, we're graced with Father Nicholas, the newly illumined, newly, newly minted uh, priest, and of course, our good brother, and my compadre, Father George, who is here as well. Um, we're going to do the first part in the back with the renunciation of Satan and the acceptance of of the Lord, and then Father Nicholas will take the lead with the baptism. So, so are you taking pictures? Okay. When we're doing the baptism part, you come right over here. All right? And that way you have a clear shot. Okay. Shall we? Please stand. Okay. out yes for now yeah okay yeah. <coughs> bless is our God always now and forever into the ages of ages amen. In the name of the Father Son and Holy Spirit amen In the name of the Father Son and Holy Spirit amen In the name of the Father Son and Holy Spirit amen let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. In your name, Lord of truth, and in the name of your only begotten Son, of your Holy Spirit, I lay in my hand on your servant's head, Vasilios, who has been found worthy to appeal to your holy name <laughs> and to shelter in the shadow of your wings. And do him with faith and hope in you and without love to know that you alone are God with your only begotten Son and your Holy Spirit. Grant that his grace to keep all your commandments doing only the things that are pleasing to you. For this is the way of life. Inscribe in him the name of your book of life. Unite him to the flock of your inheritance so that your holy name may be glorified in him with that of your beloved Son, Lord Jesus Christ, our life-giving Spirit. Look on him in <clears throat> mercy and always incline your ear to the voice of his prayer. Let him always find joy in his deeds and all his, grand, his generation, so that he may confess you, worshiping and glorifying your great and most high name, praising you ceaselessly all the days of his life. For all the powers of heaven praise you, and yours is the glory of the Father and of the Son and the Holy Spirit now and forever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. The Lord rebukes you, devil, he that came into the world and made his dwelling among men, that he might cast down your tyranny and deliver men. He that upon the tree triumphed over the opposing powers, when the sun was darkened and the earth was shaken, the tombs were open, and the bodies of the saints arose. He that by death destroyed death and overcame him that held the might of death, that is even you, a devil. I adjure you by the living God, who has shown forth the tree of life and posted the cherubim and the flaming sword that turns about to guard this. Be rebuked and depart, for I forbid you through him that walks on the waves of the sea as upon the dry land, who forbade the storm of the winds, whose glance dries up the deep and whose threatenings melt the mountains. For it is he himself that now forbids you through us, be afraid and depart and absent yourself from this creature and come not back. Neither hide yourself in him, nor encounter him, nor influence him, either by night or by day, 
nor in the morning or at noon. But get your hands to your own Tartarus until the appointed day of judgment. Fear God who sits on the throne of the cherubim and looks upon the depths before whom tremble angels, archangels, thrones, principalities, authorities, powers, the many-eyed cherubim and the six-winged seraphim whom heaven and earth fear, the sea and all that live therein. Come forth and depart from the sealed and newly enlisted soldier of Christ our God. For I adjure you by him that rides upon the wings of the winds, who makes his angel spirits and his ministers a flame of fire. Come forth and from this creature which he fashioned, depart with all your power and might. For glorified is the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, both now and ever unto the ages of ages. Amen. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. God, holy, awesome, glorious, incomprehensible, inscrutable, and all his works and power for us ordained you, evil one, eternal damnation to us, his unworthy servants, he commands you and all your allied forces <coughs> to take leave of him who has been newly sealed in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, our true God. I adjure you, therefore, most crafty, unclean, vile, loathsome, and alien spirit, by the might of Jesus Christ, who has sovereignty in heaven and on earth, who said to the deaf and dumb demon, come out of him and never enter him again, depart. See how futile is your might. You lack power even over swine. Fear God by whose decree the earth was established upon the waters, who created the heavens and fixed the limits of the mountains and measured out the valleys, who set coasts to contain the seas and a safe path through stormy waters, who touches the mountains and they turn to ash, who wears light as a garment, who spreads out the heavens like a tent, who has laid the beams of his chambers on the waters, who has made the earth firm on its foundations so that it can never be shaken, who summons the water of the sea and pours it out on the face of the earth. Come out, depart from him who is being made ready for his holy illumination. I command you by the saving passion of our Lord Jesus Christ, by his precious body and blood, and by his dreadful second coming. For come he will, that speedily to judge the whole world. And you and your companion powers you will condemn to the Gehenna of fire, giving you up to outer darkness where the worm does not die and the fire is never quenched. For the power belongs to Christ our God as to the Father and the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, healer of every disease and every infirmity, look upon this, your servant, search him out and probe him, expel from him every work of the evil one, rebuke the unclean spirits and banish them, purify the work of your hands, and with your trenchant might be swift to strike down Satan under his feet, empower him to triumph over him and his vile spirits, so that having found mercy with you, he may be found worthy of your immortal heavenly and mysteries, and offer up all glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever into the ages of ages. Amen. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. You, the existing sovereign Master and Lord, who made men after your own image and likeness, and gave to him power of eternal life, when he had fallen through sin, did not disdain him, but did provide for him through the incarnation of your Christ, the salvation of the world, redeeming this your creature from the yoke of the enemy. Receive him into your heavenly kingdom. Open the eyes of his understanding so that the illumination of your gospel may dawn upon him. Yoke unto his life a shining guardian angel to deliver him from every plot directed against him by the adversary, from encounter with evil, from the noonday demon, and from all evil dreams. Expel from him every evil and unclean spirit hiding and lurking in his heart. Amen. Excel us on above to pan poniron kia cather to pnevma, ke crimenon ke folevon aftu ti cardia. Amen. Expel from him every evil and unclean spirit hiding and lurking in his heart. Amen. The spirit of falsehood, the spirit of guile, the spirit of idolatry and greed, the spirit of deceit and all impurity, prompted by the evil one, endow him with reason and a sheep of your, of your flock, an honorable member of your church, a dedicated vessel, a child of light, and an heir to your kingdom. Having thus ordered this life, his life, to be according to your commandments and kept the seal inviolate and his garment unstained, may he know the blessings of the saints in your kingdom. 
through the grace and mercy and love of your only begotten Son, in whom you are blessed, together with your all-holy good and life-giving Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Okay. <clears throat> so I'll say it three times. Maybe you can say okay. it three times. Do you renounce Satan and all the works and all his worship and all his angels and all his pomp? I renounce him. Do you renounce Satan as all, and all his works and all his worship and all his angels and all his pomp? I renounce him. Do you renounce Satan with all his works and all his worship and all his angels and all his pomp? I renounce him. Have you renounced Satan? I have renounced him. Have you renounced Satan? I have renounced him. Have you renounced Satan? I have renounced him. Then breathe and spit upon him. Okay, let's face it this way. Do you join yourself to Christ? I do join myself to Christ. Do you join yourself to Christ? I do join myself to Christ. Do you join yourself to Christ? I do join myself to Christ. Have you joined yourself to Christ? I have. Have you joined yourself to Christ? I have. Have you joined yourself to Christ? I have. And do you believe in him? I believe in him as king and as God. Okay. Now you say the face down. I believe in one, mm -hmm. I believe in one God, Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God. Born of the Father before all ages, light of light, true God of true God, begotten, not made, of one essence with the Father, through whom all things were made. Who for us and for our salvation came down from heaven and was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary and became man. He was crucified for us under Pontius Pilate, suffered and was buried. On the third day he rose again according to the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead. Of his kingdom there shall be no end. And in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father, who together with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who spoke through the prophets, and one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I acknowledge one baptism for the remission of sins. I await the resurrection of the dead and the life of the age to come. Amen. Have you joined yourself to Christ? I have. Have you joined yourself to Christ? I have. Have you joined yourself to Christ? I have. Then bow down and worship him. I bow down before the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, the Trinity, one in essence and undivided. Blessed is God who wills that all should be saved and come to the knowledge of the truth now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Sovereign Master, Lord our God, call this your servant Vasilios to your holy illumination and account him worthy of this great grace of your holy baptism. Put off from him the old man and renew him unto everlasting life. Fill him with the power of your Holy Spirit unto union with your Christ, that he may no longer be a child of the body, but a child of your kingdom. For the good pleasure and grace of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, together with your holy, good, and life-giving Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to our God, our hope. Glory to you. May Christ, our true God, through the intercessions of his most pure and holy mystery, his holy mother, the supplication of the honorable and glorious prophet and forerunner John the Baptist, of the holy, glorious, and praiseworthy apostles, the holy, glorious, and triumphant martyrs, and of all the saints, have mercy on us and save us, for he is good and loves mankind. Through the prayers of our holy fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy upon us and save us. Amen. This time we'll, we'll walk forward. Okay. All right.
blesses our God always, now, and forever. And blesses our kingdom always, now, and forever, into the ages of ages. Amen. Then peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace from above and the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. God and for the union of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this holy house, for those who enter with faith, reverence, and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our Archbishop and Father of Angulos, the honorable priesthood, the diaconate in Christ, for all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. That this water may be sanctified by the manifestation, power, and effect of indwelling of the Holy Spirit, that there may come upon us the grace of redemption and the blessing of Jordan. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. That they may come down upon this water, the cleansing operation of the supersubstantial Trinity, and that we may be looming with the light of knowledge and piety. Through the descent of the Holy Spirit, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. That this water may prove able to turn astray, turn away all the snares of enemies, seen and unseen that he who is to be baptized in this water be accounted worthy of the everlasting kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For him who now comes to holy illumination and for his salvation that he may prove to be a child of light and an inheritor of eternal blessings. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. That he may grow in and become a partaker of the death and resurrection of Christ our God, that he may preserve the garment of baptism and the earnest of the Spirit undefiled and blameless in the terrible day of Christ our God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. That he will keep the baptismal garment in the earnest of the Spirit, that this water may become for him a bath for a rebirth for the mission of sins and a garment of incorruption, that the Lord God will heed the voice of our prayer. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy. That he and we may be spared from all affliction, wrath, danger, and distress. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and keep us, O God, by your grace. Commemorating our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. To you, o Lord. <clears throat> Great are you, O Lord, and marvelous are your works, and a, and a world where it will suffice to praise your wonders. Glory to you, O God, glory to you. Μέγαση, Κύριε, και θαυμαστά τα έργα Σου, και οδείς λόγους εξαρκέσει προς ύμνον των θαυμασίων Σου. Δόξα Σύ, ο Θεός ημών, δόξα Σύ. Great are you, O Lord, and marvelous are your works, and no words will suffice to praise your wonders. Glory to you, O God, glory to you. For by your will you brought all things into being out of nothingness, and in your might you sustain creation, and in your providence govern the universe. Once you had shaped creation out of four elements, you crowned the cycle of the year with four seasons. All intelligent life tremble before you. She praises you. The moon sings to your glory. The stars come together around you, and the high and the flat, the flat, the 
lights heed your command. The deeps quiver at your presence. The wellsprings are at your service. You have stretched forth the heavens like a, a tariff. You have made the earth firm upon the waters. You have contained the seas with strands. You have poured forth the air for breathing. The angelic powers minister to you. The, chain, the choirs of the archangels pray your homage. Pay you homage. The cherubim of many eyes and the six-winged seraphim circling around about you and soaring with themselves in, their, in awe and of your surpassing glory. For through you, our God, without the beginning, beyond understanding of expressing, you came to earth taking the form of a servant being made in the likeness of men. For in the tenderness of your mercy, you could not endure to see humankind under the devil's sway, but came and saved us. We confess your grace. We proclaim your mercy. We do not conceal the great kindness. You have set free the generations of our race. You have hallowed the virgin's womb by your birth. All creation magnified your appearing, for you are our God. We're seen on earth and dwelt among men. You also sanctified the streams of the Jordan, sending down upon them from heaven your Holy Spirit, crushing the heads of dragons and lurking there. <clears throat> Will you also now, loving King, be present through the descent of your Holy Spirit and sanctify this water? Sing. Συντριβήτω σαν υπό τη σημείωση του τύπου του τιμίου σταυρού σου, πα εναντίον δυνάμει. Αμήν. We also now, loving King, be present to the descent of your Holy Spirit and sanctify this water. Amen. And give to it the grace of redemption, the blessing of Jordan, make it a free a fount of immortality and a gift of sanctification for the remission of sins and protection against infirmities, destructive, destructive to evil forces, inaccessible to opposite powers, filled with angels of might. Let all who conspire against your creation take flight from it, for I have invoked your name, Lord, which is wonderful and glorious and fearful to enemies. Let all opposing powers be crushed beneath the sign of your most precious cross. Amen. Let all opposing powers be crushed beneath the sign of your most precious cross. Amen. Let all opposing powers be crushed beneath the sign of your most precious cross. Amen. And give to it. We pray, your Lord, let every airy and invisible speck withdraw itself from us, and let not a demon of darkness conceal himself in this water. Neither let an evil spirit, bringing obscurity of purpose and rebellious thoughts, descend into it with him that is about to be baptized. But do you, a master of all, declare this water to be water of redemption, water of sanctification, a cleansing of flesh and spirit, a loosing of bonds, a forgiveness of sins, an illumination of soul, a labor of regeneration, a renewal of the spirit, a gift of sonship, a garment of incorruption, a fountain of life. For you have said, O Lord, wash and be clean, put away evil from your souls. You have bestowed upon us regeneration from on high by water and the spirit. Manifest yourself, O Lord, in this water and grant that he that is to be baptized may be transformed therein to the putting away of the old man, which is corrupt according to the deceitful lusts, and to the putting out of the new, which is renewed according to the image of him that created him, that being planted in the likeness of your death through baptism, he may become a sharer of your resurrection and preserving the gift of your Holy Spirit and increasing the deposit of grace. He may attain unto prize of his high calling and a counter among the number of the firstborn whose names are written in heaven. In you, our God and Lord Jesus Christ, to whom be your glory and might, together with your eternal Father, and your holy, good, and life-giving Spirit, now and ever into the ages of ages. Be with you all. And to your spirit. Let us bow our heads to the Lord. To you, o Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Sovereign Lord God of our fathers, to those who were in the ark of Noah. You sent a dove bearing it in its beak, the olive twig, a token of respondent recon reconciliation and of your salvation from the flood. 
This foreshadowed the mystery of grace as you provided the fruit of the olive for the fulfillment of your holy sacraments, thereby filling those who were under the law with the Holy Spirit, protecting those who were under the grace. Will you also now bless this holy oil through the descent and indwelling power of your Holy Spirit, and it may be in an offering for an incorruption, an armor of righteousness, renewing soul and body, fond, founding off, funding off every assault of the evil one, delivering from all evil those who are anointed with it in faith or who partake to it. To your glory and to the glory of your only begotten Son and your all holy good and life-giving Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Let us attend. Alleluia. 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 Let us attend. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Let us attend. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Now put your hands over. Put the one over the other like this. There you go. Close it. Close it a little bit. Just go forward. Blessed is God who enlightens and sanctifies all who come into the world now and forever into the ages of ages. Amen. Amen. The servant of God, Vasilios, is anointed with the oil of gladness in the name of the Father. Amen. And of the Son. Amen. And of the Holy Spirit. Amen. For the healing of soul and body. Amen. For the hearing of faith. Amen that your mouth may speak the truth, Amen. for the smelling of fragrance, Amen. for the bending of the knee, Amen. that you may step upon snakes and scorpions, that he may walk in the way of your commandments. Amen. Amen. That your hands have made and fashioned me. Amen. <clears throat> Whosoever shall come after me, let us take up his cross and follow me. Amen. Amen. Okay. Book. Thank you. Okay, so now what we'll do is we're going to, I'm going to hold the baby and then you'll lather him, okay? Okay. Okay. Okay, so you go ahead and lather him. All over. <laughs> there you go. Okay. Open your arms. Open your arms. Yes, hold on. Be ready to receive him. You place him on your arms, okay? The servant of God, Vasilios, is baptized in the name of the Father. Amen. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. Amen. It's okay. It's fine. It's fine. Blessed are those whose sins are forgiven and those whose transgressions are covered. Blessed is he to come whom the Lord imputes no evil and in whose speech there is no guile. As long as I kept silent and my body washed away from my groaning all the day, Day and night, your hand was heavy upon me. I twisted in pain as if a thorn were thrust in me. Blessed are those whose sins have been forgiven and whose transgressions have been covered. going to chrismate him now. Okay. The seal of the gift of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The seal of the gift of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The seal of the gift of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The seal of the gift of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The seal of the gift of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The seal of the gift of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I'm going to get his chest. 
The seal of the gift of the Holy Spirit. Got to get his feet. The seal of the gift of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The seal of the gift of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The seal, <laughs> yeah, yeah. The seal of the gift of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The seal of the gift of the Holy Spirit. Okay, the seal of the gift of the Holy Spirit. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I just got to get his hair. Vasilios' first offering is his hair. The servant of God, Vasilios, makes a first offering of the hairs of his head in the name of the Father. Okay. Amen. And of the Son. Amen. <laughs> And of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Now and forever into the ages of ages. Amen. Okay, the servant of God is clothed with the garment of righteousness. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Okay. Amen. Christ our God. Endow me with the robe of light, you who array yourself in light as with a garment. You need some? Just put on the. Most merciful Christ our God, endow me with the robe of light. You who array yourself in light as with a garment. Most merciful Christ our God, endow me with the robe of light. You who array yourself in light as with a garment. Blessed are those whose sins are forgiven and those whose transgressions are covered. Blessed is he to whom the Lord imputes no evil and in, the, in whose speech there is no guile. As long as I kept silent, my body wasted away from my groaning all the day. Day and night your hand was heavy upon me. I twisted in pain as if a thorn were thrust at me. Then I confessed my sin and hid not my wickedness. I said, I will confess my sin to the Lord and against myself. And you forgave my heart's impiety. Therefore shall every faithful pray to you whenever the time is right. Only in the rush of flood waters shall they not reach him. You are my shelter shall from the trouble that presses in on me, my joy, to save me from those who besiege me. I will instruct you and teach you where to go. I will keep my eyes set upon you. Be not like a horse or a mule that lack understanding whose jaw must be curbed with a bit and rein, else they will not follow you. Many are the ills that befall the sinner, but loving kindness surrounded the man and who hopes in the Lord. Be glad in the Lord and rejoice, you righteous ones, and glory all you upright of heart. I need the censor. When Moses inscribed a cross with his right extended, he split the Red Sea for the host of Israel that went on foot, then crosswise he once again struck Rose. it and united it on Pharaoh's chariot, portraying on its surface the invincible weapon. Therefore to Christ our God, let us all sing, for he has been glorified. The rod is taken to be an archetype of the mystery, for it it blossomed and thus chose a priest from others. And now the tree of the cross unto the formerly barren church has blossomed forth as power and a firm support. When Jonah was in the belly of the sea beast and his hands in a cruciform were stretched out, he thus clearly prefigured the saving passion.
passion of Christ, whence after three days he emerged. Depicting thus a super mundane resurrection from the dead of our God who was physically nailed to the cross and by his third day of raising illumined the universe. The impious tyrant's preposterous decree disturbed the populace breathing threats and blasphemous pronouncements hateful to God, yet the three used did not become frightened by the bestial anger, the roaring fire, but with the dew emitting wind whistling in opposition to the fire they sang. O oh, supremely praise, you are blessed, O oh, our God, and the God of our fathers. We praise and we bless and we worship the Lord, you in equal number to the Trinity, pious use, Bless God, the Father, maker of all. And also praise the word who can descend it and who change the fire in the furnace into dew. The Holy Spirit who gives life to all creation also exalt supremely to the ages. Most merciful Christ our God, endow me with the robe of light. You who array yourself in light as with a garment. When Moses inscribed a cross with his rod extended, he split the Red Sea for the host of Israel that went on foot. Then crosswise he once again struck it and united it on Pharaoh's chariots, portraying on its surface the invincible weapon. Therefore to Christ our God, let us all sing for he has been glorified. It's okay. Stand here. Stand for first steps as a Christian, as a citizen of the kingdom of heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Lord our God, throughout the fullness of the baptismal font, you sanctify in your goodness those who believe in you. Bless this, your child, here present, and for your blessing and upon his head. And as you bless David the king through the prophet Samuel, so bless this head of your servant Vasilios by the hand of me, the sinner, visiting him like with your Holy Spirit so that as he matures in stature and attains venerable old age, may he also offer up glory to you and behold the good things of Jerusalem in all the days of his life. For to you belong all glory, honor, and worship to Father and Son and the Holy Spirit now and forever into the ages of ages. Amen. Okay. So when I move, you move. When I stop, you stop. Okay. O sis Christon en baptis dite Christon en edisas de Alleluia. That way. Go ahead. Oh, 
All those who have been baptized into Christ have put on Christ. Alleluia. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Have put on Christ. Alleluia. In amis. Let us attend. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? Wisdom. The reading is taken from the letter of the Holy Apostle Paul to the Romans. Let us be attentive. Brethren, do you not know that all of us who have been baptized into Christ Jesus were baptized into his death? We were buried, therefore, with him by baptism into death. So that as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, we too might walk in the newness of life. For if we have been united with him in a death like his, we shall certainly be united with him in a resurrection like this. We know that our old self was crucified with him so that the sinful body might be destroyed and we might no longer be enslaved to sin. For he who has died is freed from sin. But if we have died with Christ, we believe that we shall also live with him. For we know that Christ being raised from the dead will never die again. Death no longer has dominion over him. The death he died, he died to sin once and for all. But the life he lives, he lives to God. So you also must consider yourselves dead to sin and alive to God in Christ Jesus. Peace be with you. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Wisdom, let us be ten, let us hear the Holy Gospel. Peace be with all of you. And to your spirit. The reading is from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Let us be attentive. Glory to you, O Lord, glory to you. At that time, the eleven disciples went to Galilee to the mountain to which Jesus had directed them. And when they saw him, they worshipped him. But some doubted, and Jesus came and said to them, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go, therefore, and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all things that I have commanded you. And, lo, I am with you always to the close of the age. Glory to you, Lord. Glory to you, Lord. Have mercy on us, O God. According to your great goodness, we pray to you. Hear us and have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for mercy, life, health, peace, salvation of your servants of the newly illumined Vasilios and his sponsors, Amy and Jamie, and of his parents, Thomas and Elizabeth, and all who have come together for this holy sacrament. Lord, have mercy. For you are merciful, loving God, and to you we give glory, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen.
You have been baptized. You have been illumined. You have been anointed with the Holy Chrism, and you have been cleansed and sanctified in the name of the Father and the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Glory to you, our God, our hope. Glory to you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Oh. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Holy Father, okay. give the blessing. Who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. I will take, I will take the servant of God, Basilios, receives the body salvation. and blood of Christ for the forgiveness of sins and life and everlasting. The name of the Lord. <laughs> glory to our God, our hope, glory to you. May Christ, our true God, who for our salvation condescended to be baptized in the Jordan, and the land of John, through the prayers of his all-pure mother, the supplications of the honorable and glorious prophet and forerunner John the Baptist, of the holy, glorious, and praiseworthy apostles, and of all the saints, have mercy upon us and save us for our good and loving Lord. Through the prayers of our holy fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy upon us and save us. Amen. Congratulations. What a blessing. Thank you, Father George and Father John, for your help. Thank you for the chanters. And may Amy and Jamie be guides and lights to little Vasilios. And may he always follow in the Lord's footsteps. Glory to God. Glory to God. What a blessing. Let's turn around. Turn around. Turn around this way. Please give a warm welcome to the newly elementary servant of God, Vasilios. Okay, so something, Thomas and Elizabeth, you stand down here. Amy, you stand at the top. You stand in the, the second step. Receive your child who has been baptized, sanctified, and illumined, the newly illumined servant of God, Basilios. <laughs> Okay. All right. Glory to God. Uh, thank you all for coming today.